Hey, good afternoon everybody. Sammy Thunder here. Welcome back to the channel. We can recap two card shows, Queens on Saturday, Orange, Connecticut today. Went to both, made pickups at both. Um, I don't have any footage really just because there really wasn't much to record this weekend. Um, but at least I want to show you the purchases that I made, how much I paid for them, and what my plans are. And I'll go from there. So the first lot that I picked up, this would be from the Queens show. Uh, There's a dealer named Nelson, primarily modern dealer, had some vintage kind of dis dispersed through. And um, I picked up three cards that were in his display case. And I paid, I offered $115 and came back at $120 for $5. I'm not going to lose sleep over that. So the first card from that lot is the 1965 Willie Mays. And so well, the reason why I really like this card a lot is the fact that the centering uh, from left to right is really, really nice. Top to bottom is not the world's greatest, but um, it just it has very nice appeal to it. And so I know how quickly Willie Mays cards will move. And uh, my plan for this, for the Willie Mays 65, is to put it in my display case at future shows so that I can hopefully offer it to another collector. Second card from the lot, I keep on getting these cards all the time. It seems like I just kind of become magnetic with the Topps 1971 Nolan Ryan. And uh, this one is really, uh, really nice. It's not, I mean, this card is kind of known for being off-center, but this one's not too bad. And so, uh, but the condition on it is what kind of drew me in. And so this one will also go in the display case. And finally, the third card from the 120 lot is the Hank Aaron. Like I mentioned before, I know how quickly Willie Mays, Hank Aaron cards, these are more desirable. And so my hope is to be able to move this. This one is, has a really nice appeal to it. So I think there are quite a bit of Hank Aaron collectors out there and even dealers who would like to have this in their display case. So those three for 120, I um, should be able to make a little bit on that. And the next lot is uh, from today. I'm gonna save the best one for last. Um, I purchased these two cards I um, offered 85 I think total and uh, there was no you know, no hesitation I got this from Rob in Orange Connecticut he has a great uh, table mixed with mostly modern and I'd say maybe 65 45 or six, or 70 30 modern to vintage uh, but these were in his display case I remember seeing these in the past and I was hoping he'd still have it so I can make an offer on it and he did um, first one is the 1968 Willie Mays, and this one's pretty nice and sharp. There are some touch-ups, but um, like I mentioned before, I have a lot of uh, collectors who don't want to pay like the most premier dollar for Willie Mays cards, and so I figured, you know what, I can pick this up, and um, I kind of, uh, kind of priced this one out. Um, the offer that I made was like 60 for this one. So 60 out of 85, and then the other one is the 1967 Pete Rose. Um, this one has pretty nice appeal to it. This one, he had it marked at 40, but um, essentially I had asked to, to get this for 25. And, um, you know, Pete Rose is another player. Uh, his cards seem to move a lot pretty quickly. So, you know, I'll put this in the display case at a future show, both of these, and... Um, Hopefully I can make a little bit on it. I think I will. Um, and so that'll be the plan. The last pickup was also from Queens. This was not from a dealer. This was from a guy who I've done business with before. He's the same guy I bought the 1954 Tops semi-completed set from. And um, so he had another 1954 card. I already have it graded in a two and a half, but I saw it there and I figured there's an opportunity to make money on it if I decide to resell it. And that is none other than the Topps 1954 Jackie Robinson. Um, very nice appeal on this one. Um, I'm going to get it graded at, at, with SGC at the East Coast National. They're supposed to be there. And so the plan is to get this one and a bunch of other ones graded if they're going to do that $15 submission, which would be great because uh, then I can send a bunch in that have been kind of building up a stack of uh, different cards that I think would do pretty well. But for this Jackie, I paid, um, I offered 200 and he came back at 225. 
I figured we're very cl we're, we're close, so I decided to take it uh, for 225. I thought it was a nice deal, and it's a very desire it's a desirable Jackie Robinson card because there's not a whole. I mean, there are a lot of Jackie Robinson cards, but his um, the time frame of his cards are shorter than like you know other players, but. Very nice card for 225. I'll get it graded and hopefully it grades a two or higher, which is what I'm hoping for. And uh, so uh, when I purchased the three card lot, the Nolan Ryan, Hank Aaron, and uh, Willie Mays for 120, the Nelson allowed me to pick up another <laughs> one of the post cereal box cards. Yeah, I was thinking of Scott at the time, Reindeer Studios, wearing a shirt today. I picked up a Don Mossy post cereal. So I figured, you know what, he's a He's a big Don Mossy guy, so I picked this one up. It was a freebie, kind of a toss-in. And I just want to say thank you to Scott uh, before we finish up because Scott's been um, giving me some great advice, and um, I'm working on doing my next, uh, kind of like my own little vintage card because I had the top 68 that I just ran out of. I uh, gave my last of all of them at the National, but this is the first, like a little trial run, uh, here's my newest vintage card that I am putting together. It is my T206 Sammy Thunder card. And on the back, this is just a little trial run. The paper is not the official, not the, the good paper style. But Scott's been an inspiration because Scott has his T206, which looks phenomenal with the, with the signature. And so I kind of modeled, you know, kind of took inspiration for Scott's and... Um, Kind of just running with it and see how far I can go with it. But uh, that's it for now, y'all. Um, this week, I would say coming up, I will do an SGC submission, but that's contingent on if SGC is going to be there, number one, and if they're going to do their special $15 deal on f Friday at the East Coast National. And then uh, the later this week, I'm doing another sit-down interview with um, Jake from Legends Ever Die, Really looking forward to that, uh, to hear about his side of collecting and to understand uh, where his mind is at when he looks for cards. But thank you so much. I hope you all have a great weekend, and I will see you soon. Take care.